And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Anivia Tribal. Bringing this deck back. This deck is all about um, playing Anivia and then having Anivia die and bringing back a lot of Anivias. You know, we have Rekindler to bring it back. We have Spectral Matron that can put an Ephemeral Anivia in play. And having Ephemeral Anivias is pretty nice because um, whenever Anivia dies, it'll still come back. Um, it'll just turn into the Egg Nivia. I guess is what I want to say whenever it dies. And then whenever you're enlightened, it will level up and come back. So we do need to be enlightened as fast as possible. So our new card for this deck is Weirding Stones. I'm going with two Weirding Stones, I'm not going with the full three, because as you know, it's a it's a poor card to draw late. But we got two Weirding Stones in here to go with our Catalyst of Aeons. Um, but besides that, yeah, we have like more ways to get more Anivias in play. Mist Call, Splinter Soul, all sorts of stuff like that. Of course, Chronicler of Ruin is a classic. Um, so, you know, lots of stuff like that. Besides, uh, the rest of our deck is kind of some control aspects. We have Ruination, Withering Will, Brood Awakening, just to be blockers, um, Grasp the Undying, you know, like different control cards with Avalanche. Um, one Entreat to find Anivia, because we definitely need to draw Anivia, um, or, or else our, our deck doesn't really do a whole lot. But it's a fun one to play. So Anivia Tribal, Got a great late game with a bunch of Anivias. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the seven drops. I mean, we get rid of Splinter Soul also. We don't need that card early. Let's dig. Hello. Hmm. Heimerdinger. That's why I call like Avaros and Sentry so good. You know, like we're just gonna keep Avaros and Sentry against everybody. And then if it looks like they're playing an aggro deck, but then turn out, or like a control deck, but then turn out to be playing aggro, we just have this. Withering Will for these things. Even better, Avalanche. Our deck... Poor Aggro. Aggro has it rough these days. I am at 7. Like, they have done a lot of damage. Done an, an incredible amount of damage, honestly. Yeah, they've done an incredible amount of damage in a short period of time. I think I want to gain the three life. Obviously could have Brute Awakenings. Should have brood awakening. Down to four.
We could definitely die here. You know, just burn spells. Kill us. Pretty interesting to just have Heimerdinger as the champion. Yeah, I mean, Flash of Brilliance is perfect. It's perfect. So I do have Anivia. We can kill some one toughness things. I guess that's the plan, because I really don't want them to have this elusive one drop. just like the perfect way for their deck to work, right? One drop into Boom Crew Rookie into Grenadier plus one drop. And then have Heimerdinger plus um, you know, the, the flash of brilliance and progress day. That's just, it's gotta be exactly how they want it to work. Hope it works. There, the turn that I messed this up was the turn I didn't play Brood Awakening. That was the turn that I could have done something different. But while that, that is an interesting... Um... Take, I don't think it can get any better than that and it can get a whole heck of a lot worse. So I wouldn't wouldn't mind playing against that deck again. Wouldn't mind playing against that deck every match, but doesn't mean you win them all. Alright, Garen Fiora, let's gotta keep all this stuff. Hello. Take this. I'm actually here. They're out there. I'll spot them. So I do like Weirding Stones even with Chronicler of Ruin because um, Weirding Stones can chump block like a. Or, you know, like it, not chump block, but you know, it can block like a two power thing, but then it turns into an O2, and then you can reset it with Chronicler. So, like, I do like that still. One mana short of grass plus vile feast. Why do they have to have bannermen? Mm. 
So Fiora kills this thing. So then maybe we can trade the Brood Awakening and a Withering Whale for everything else. Or even better, Avalanche. It's better because it's slow speed, where instead of playing the fast spell speed right now, slow speed style, I want to be able to play this later. So just two cards left. I was planning on trying to use Grasp to kill that, but now we can Vile Feast. That's risky. Hey, Boo. What's up? How's everything going? All right, Nivea, where you at? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We do need to find an Anivia, and we've drawn a lot of cards. Drawn 14. Plus ours that we mulliganed. But we haven't seen one yet. Bad Garen. Okay, that's not a bad draw. Could do some work. Could do some work. You had two days, like, like, what do you mean you had two days? Like, you had, like, you went in, you already went in to work for two days? I know you were looking for a place to, but you were, like, staying with somebody for, like, a week, maybe, and then looking for a permanent place? Like, did you find a permanent place? Ruination time. The good thing about this ruination is even if they had deny and they counter it, like Withering Whale would still have done a lot. Okay, cool. Stop having those. You're lucky I have more ruinations. Or sorry, more vengeances for them. Once we find it in Nivea, the game's over. Once we find it in Nivea, the game's over. We're just not quite there yet. Yay, Anivia. Strike and grace, beauty in this lane. Oh, 
Let's go. So we summon an exact copy of this ally. It's ephemeral and a 1-1. One, one, so it dies at end step. All right, well, that's fine. We don't get to Splinter Soul, but we already had our thing die, so now we can just rekindle her back. A new era begins. GG's. So how are you liking the new place, Boop? You got your you got your permanent place, got you're already going into work. Like how's how's work? How's the place you're at? You're a Zed. Ruination too expensive. Assuming this is the swim deck that we were complaining about earlier. Complaining that that Zed calls it, he uh, calls it a burn deck, where there's no burn spells at all. It is a three deny deck, which is bad for me. And my hand's not so good. We got some ramp though. We're just kind of ramping to nothing right now. Not as bad as DC was, that's good. And you're at level three trauma now instead of level one, that's... Sounds like an upgrade. Man, we need to draw a Nivea real bad. Do not fear the shrouded path. Don't know if we can beat a 7-6 elusive creature. I think that we probably can't. Thunderwonk. Okay. What are we going to do with this? It's the tough call, but we have to... I think we have to play the Averrosen Sentry. 
and not the Anivia because we need to find something to kill this. We need to basically we need to draw vengeance. So putting a a last breath, draw one card in here. Gives us one extra draw, and now we need Vengeance. There it is. See, if I wouldn't have done that, we wouldn't have drawn that extra card. We would have just had the miss call. Obviously, they can still win this. They have a lot of cards they could have, but that was that's the only card that gave us a chance. Hey, Thunderwonk. Getting this up. Thank you, Boo. Santa boot out here. See the Nebastian border from here. I walk my path alone. Well, it's not over yet. The Frodeo's eternal guardian. Fortunately, I don't have an answer for this solitary monk right now. Without a sound. Dang. Came close to stabilizing. I think I've, I think I played that well, but solitary monk with double uh, standalone, pretty busted. All right, one and two. Yeah, and then also Relentless Pursuit to attack again. Yeah. That didn't help. So normally we would get rid of Anivia, but... Our deck needs Anivia, so we're going to keep it in hand. We do need to find some ramp, but we have a lot of card draw. You know, if we could play a Sentry on turn two, we can Glimpse Beyond the Sentry. We can draw a lot of cards. Build our own. Draw three. Good aggressive start. Unfortunately, my sentry doesn't get to block Mist Wraith. Exactly what I wanted to do. No ramp anywhere. <laughs> Playing Anivia Tribal Yardy. It's a fun one to play. You just stay alive and try to get a bunch of Anivias in play. Hey, there's some ramp. There's something we need. So I cast the mist call there because I was planning on going chronic because you know we didn't have anything else. So I was planning on going chronicler on the Avaros and Sentry this past turn.
gonna be more things for Thresh. really need a ruination we can just do this avalanche I guess that does level up thresh though they have another thresh even just this one and they the thresh attacks and puts in a lease like oh well probably should have used grass the undying on the thresh first for the avalanche Okay, yeah, the champ was undying. That's a good deck. Yeah, it's a good deck. Which one? Are you, what's another deck you're thinking about building? I didn't want to grasp the Thresh first, and then they just play another Thresh. I didn't want that to happen. Yasuo? Ooh, that's a good one, too. All right. I like your deck choices. All right, with playing Thresh, I'm going to Ruination. We're normally Withering Wailed, but the Thresh kind of calls for a Ruination, I think. And there's the Anivia dying. We get to Rekindle her. Bring it back. Yeah, the Asu deck that we played earlier today went pretty well, if you if you got to see that. Uh... Well, that's a bummer. Basically, if they have Atrocity also... I lose. If they don't this turn, then I'll have harsh winds for this thing, so like we'll be fine. But it's it's this turn right now. They have six mana. If they have the card atrocity, we lose. If they don't have the card atrocity, we win. They don't have it. Okay, we win. Need more Anivias. Could always use more Anivias. Yeah, you'd get one and an egg if I did that to Anivia, but so it's the same thing, right? Like it's either way you get three, whether you do that to Rekindler or Anivia, but it's a little safer to do it to Rekindler because as we saw there with them having those Vile Feasts, if I would have gotten an egg, they would have killed the egg. Um, but yeah, so I think I think either way we get... Um, you know, either way we end up with three Anivias. No matter what I chronicle her. 
but it's safer to do the rekindler because you don't you don't turn one of your two other two Anivias into an egg. Yeah, call it Anivia Tribal because that's that's like all we're doing is playing Anivias. You know, tribal decks have like all of the same you know like creature type. Um, you know, like elite tribal with like all elites. We're basically a Nivea tribal with all Nivea's. They whiffed. So that means they have to have they who endure. So top card's gotta be they who endure. What? My spiderling left? It got destroyed? Well, I guess I should have vile feasted after damage. Let's go straight to attacks. He knew Bloco. We're having a good Tuesday. We're having a two and two Tuesday. Oh no, they drew atrocity? Oh, okay. I guess I could have played this differently because of top top deck atrocity. Like I didn't have to harsh wind that, right? Like I could have gained three life to gone to 20 and then blocked with a three five and then I wouldn't have died. And I could have kept the harsh wind so that, that top deck atrocity would not have killed me. So yeah, so basically that's what I should have done instead of playing like the Brood Awakening and stuff. I should have blocked their 22 power thing with my five toughness, which would have put me, you know, which would have dealt 17 damage. I was at 17, but I could have also gained three life with a grasp. And then I would have held on to harsh winds in case they would have top decked atrocity. I'm glad they didn't top deck atrocity, but I could have lost that. And I had no business losing that. So um, yeah, it worked out though. We're two and two. It's like we've been two and two with all these decks, but two of them we've got wins and one a loss. Let's try to make it three wins and one loss and not two and two. Jinx Draven. This is going to be tough. Keep the ramp. There we go. Ramp into a Nivea. Get a Brood Awakening for some blockers. I'm probably going to have to play that Brood Awakening turn three. The problem is... I guess we have to play the sentry. Because the problem is they're attacking turn three. So they can just go straight to attacks before I'd be able to play Brood Awakening. No Draven, no Draven, no Draven. No Draven. Nod Raven. Darn it. That's a great curve. One drop, Boom Crew Rookie Draven. And the one drop that attacks for the most. So best one drop, best two drop, best three drop. It's alright though. We're not out of it.
Need to do this right now so we have we have the blockers. So if they go straight to attacks. Their turn four, after, after they also had a free 1-1, one, one, was just a... Wow, another Boom Crew rookie and two more one-drops? It doesn't get any better than that for the aggro deck. Literally does not get any better than that. But... Do you have Withering Wheel? So we're casting that. This blocks here, this blocks here, this blocks... Here. Put me down to nine. All right, nine's acceptable. This is why it's so hard to play aggro right now. My opponent's hand could not get any better. And we're still going to just go down to nine because of Brood Awakening and Withering Whale. These cards are ridiculous against aggro. All right, so I don't want to let their um, Draven level up. So I Vile Feasted my own creature to not let their Draven level up. Let's make it deep. You should give it a try, Thunder Wonk. I mean, it's, you know, it's free to download everything. Um, new set is coming out a week from today, and mobile will be out in nine days, where you're going to be able to play on your phone. But yeah, give it a try. It's, it's a really fun game. It's really, really balanced. Is something I really like about it. I I just don't know about like Mac compatibility and stuff like that. That's just something I'm just not very um, I'm not very well informed about. Like I I just don't know. That decimate they had last turn was one of their best draws, but but even with that being said. is pretty close to being over. I mean, basically, they, need, they just need to draw more burst spells, or, like, more burn spells. I only... I don't have any more life gain, so... Well, now I do. Entry doesn't do anything. All it does is put a Harsh Winds into my hand, but I should probably cast it just so we don't draw the Harsh Winds, even though it's just a... Or, sorry, so we don't draw the Anivia, even though it's just a 1 out of 27 chance. It's probably worth casting Intrigue to make sure we don't draw the one card. Because I already have one Anivia in play, one Anivia in hand. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure Mac hat like there is Mac.
Um, I guess, well, maybe not. Beautiful face. Just doing a Google search. Maybe not. Maybe it's not on Mac. But all the, the things about Mac is like from January. But it's it's gonna be on on mobile. So anyway, like I said, like that's why we're gonna play this. It's gonna be on mobile on the the thirty between the twenty eighth and the thirtieth. They said they were gonna start trying to have it on mobile on the twenty eighth, but by the thirtieth it should be up and running for good. And so, you know, you can have it on like your iPhone stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I don't know why I didn't play Brood Awakening. I definitely should have. Um, as far as a deck I recommend building first, I think I would recommend Spider Aggro to start with because you, you, uh, you have like Elise's already to start with. Um, yeah, like these are. B squared, if you don't know about like the meta list, that's a good um, kind of reference tool for some meta decks. You can kind of see like what your collection looks like and, you know, towards buildings and different decks. Um, and then, of course, uh, yeah, I can't wait till this is on the phone. Only like nine more days. It should be good on the 30th. It should be, should be on the phone. Um, of course, my, my YouTube channel also, you can click on that. I have. I upload four to five videos every single day of different decks. Um, or just the Mobile Addicts page has all the deck lists. But anyway, yeah, so probably like Spider Aggro is a good place to start. Because you have Elise's. The Spider Aggro list in there has, Dar has Draven, but you can play Darius instead because you start with Darius Let's do this. There you go. Yeah, B squared. Yeah. Um, you know, as you can see, I played four decks today. Every every day, that's what I do. I play four or five decks and upload them to YouTube as well. So they're doing five direct damage to me. We gain three life, stay alive, and there we go, three and two. All right, so a good three and two day. If it wasn't, uh, Katarina Byrne went two and three. But we saw that like with our opponent's deck, like my opponent had such an incredible hand there. They had, they really drew really, like they drew, like their, their first four turns were perfect. They drew the decimate exactly when they wanted to. And then, you know, even there in the late game, they drew Mystic Shot, get excited. It doesn't get better than that for the burn deck and they still lost um it's tough playing burn these days it's tough like there's a lot of good good things against burn with brood awakening withering whale but anyway this deck felt pretty solid you know like with our our three two here it did feel pretty solid um yeah i liked it um Weirding Stones looked good. This this really did. Like this looked good. This is a good blocker. Um, you know, helped us. You know, helped us get a lighten for the Anivia and everything. The Weirding Stones did look good, and I do like the Weirding Stones plus Chronicler combo, where you know, like once you if you have like the O four here, you like block a two two, and then your Weirding Stones turn to it turns into an O two, and then you really don't want to block with it again. But you can block that 2-2, and then you Chronicler it, turn it back into an 0-4, and then you can block with it again. It's not bad. It's not bad. But right, if you like playing lots of Anivias and getting lots of Anivia triggers, 
Um, yeah, this is the deck for you. So anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, uh, let me know what you think of the deck or uh, any of the new cards. Uh, you know, feel free to leave uh, the comments. I always appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching some Anivia Tribal, and I'll see you for the next video.